Welcome. This is for math for business and finance and math applications. So if you have if you have either one of those subjects um, in your assignments in chapter one, the you were assigned the odd number problems for the uh, drill problems. I'll be going through and just working my way through the uh, the solutions as I as I do them and most likely I won't get through all of them um, so you'll see the rest in another video uh, just scroll back and forth through the video in order to uh, go to the question that uh, uh, you're having a little difficulty with okay so I'll move on here okay page down all right get the pen Let me get a pen here mm -mm -mm. Pen. there we go all right, drill problem 1-1, 1.1. .1. Um, it says to add 75 plus 19. So I take 75, add 19. Okay, 9 and 5 is 14. Carry my 1. 1, 8, 9. That's 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9. So my answer is 94. Draw problem 1-3. Same thing. 88 plus 88. 8 plus 8 is 16. Carry my 1. 1 and 8 is 9. Plus 8 is 17. The answer is 176. Drill problem 1-5. 6,251 plus 7,329. I have 6,251 and 7,329. Okay, one of the things that uh, I'd like to point out here is it's important to keep the numbers underneath each other. In other words, the ones places should be under the ones, tens under tens, hundreds under hundreds, thousands under thousands. I see a lot of students will do something like this, 6251, and then they'll write 7329, and then they try to add them up, and that only makes it more difficult for yourself. So try to keep the numbers underneath each other in the proper places. Okay, so 1 and 9 is 10, so write the 0 and carry my 1. 1 and 5 is 6, plus 2 is 7. 2 and 3 is 5. 6 and 7 is 13. 13,570. Drill problem 1-7. Again, keep everything aligned as well as you possibly can. 78,159 plus 15,850 plus 19,681. All right, so. 9, 0 is 9, plus 1 is 10, carry my 1, 1 and 5 is 6, and 5 is 11, and 8 is 19, carry my 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 8 is 10, plus 6 is 16, carry my 1, 1 and 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14, plus 9 is 23, Carry my 2, 23, carry my 2. 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 113,690. Okay, I'm going to do this one a slightly little bit different. Okay, um, again, it's the way I think about doing things. Okay, so let me just erase a little bit here. Okay, I try to just, I quickly group things together. So when I'm looking here, I'm not going 9 plus 0 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 
I'm, I know 0 is nothing, so I go 9 and 1 is 10. Carry my 1. I look and I see 5 and 5 is 10. So I go 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 8 is 19. Carry my 1. Now mentally, I'm grouping the 8 plus 1 and 1 is 10. And then adding 6 for 16. And I'm taking the 1 and 9 as 10. And then I'm saying 8 and 5 is 13. 10 and 13 is 23. 3 carry my 2. And then I'm grouping the 2, 7, and 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Okay. So I come up with the same answer, but I do, you know, you can just add straight up and down or um, in my case here, I just kind of try to recognize things, you know, groupings of 10, groupings of 5, or odd or even number, just mental shortcuts um, that I just become accustomed to over time, and I still end up arriving at the same answers, okay? All right, 1-9. 80 minus 42 is what? Okay, so 80 minus 42 is what? Right, 2 from 0, what we have to do is we have to borrow. So this is a 10 spot, so we're going to borrow 10. So now this becomes 7, and we add the 1 here. We borrowed 1, 10. 7 and 1 here is still 8. So now I have 10. I borrowed 1, 10. This is a 10 space, and I added it to whatever digit this was. If this happened to be it a 1, well then I'd have 11, okay, 10 plus 1. So 2 from 10 is 8, and then 4 from 7 is 3, 38. Okay. I hope you understood that. Let me let me just make a, do a quick, a different number on, a different problem on the side. Let's say I had uh, 89 and I was taking away 35, oops, no. I don't want 89, I want 80, 80. Let me erase. I want, let's see here, 84 and take away 86, say. Okay. Um, the 6 is greater than the 4, so I have to borrow a 10. All right. So that makes that 7. And I add that 10, so that becomes like 14 in order to be able to take 8 from 14, which would give me 8. See, we can't take away something that we don't have. We can't take away six from a, you know, from four because we don't have two left over, and that's why we're borrowing. Okay, and then three from seven is four. Right. Hope that made sense. Okay, drill problem one eleven. Nine thousand minus fifty four hundred. Nine thousand. This is a good one. Minus fifty four hundred. Okay, 0 from 0 is 0, 0 from 0 is 0. 4 from 0, we can't take 4 from 0, so we have to borrow. So that makes that an 8, and that makes that 10. So now 4 from 10 is 6, and 5 from the 8 is 3, 3,600. Drill problem 1-13. 1,622. Minus 548. Again, make sure everything is up and down, straight up and down. Ones over ones, tens over tens, hundreds over hundreds. Okay, 8 from 2. We can't take 8 from 2, so we have to borrow. So we're going to borrow 1. That gives us 12 over here. So 8 from 12 is 4. Now, 4 from 1, we can't take 4 from 1, so we have to borrow from the 100 spot, right? So that makes 5, and that now makes that 11 in our 10s. So 4 from 11 is 7. Then 5 from the 5 is 0, and nothing from 1 is 1. 1,074. Okay? Understand how we did that? Let me do it real quick again. 1, 6, 2, 2, and 5, 48. 8 from 2 can't take, so we have to borrow a 10. That makes, instead of 2, we have 1, and that gives us 12 now. 
So we could take 8 from 12 gives us 4. But now when we look in the 10 spot, 4 from 1, we still can't do that. So we have to borrow 100. So we take 100 away. That makes the 6 a 5. And that makes our 10s now 11. So 7 from, I mean, sorry, 4 from 11 is 7. Okay, now we look in our 100s. 5 from 5 is 0. And we have nothing from 1,000. So it's nothing from 1. Gives us 1,000. Right. I'm going to stop now and continue on in the next video.